Would you stop with the fucking guy from the top? Break my balls, Jackie. I'm starting to eat. You don't want anything to get the hell out of here. Go wait in the car. Come here. This old man just proved that you can be married for 69 years without being a simp. Just treat your woman with respect and love her genuinely, then she'll stay by your side. Simping is very unnecessary and it's not a trait of matured alpha male. Asking my best friend's hey brother gosh, to sneaky link. Jamie. Oh, what's up, Jamie? What's up? How are you? I just wanted to say hey. Hi. What's up? What are you doing? Um, literally. Watching TikTok? Am, am I on that? Yeah, obviously, I was just watching your TikToks. No way. That's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> How are you? Um, I'm just bored. Like, so I've been thinking about you. I'm like bored and like lonely. And I was just thinking about that talk we had. And it was making me like think of your like mind and your like face. Mm -hmm. And like. We just we never hang. Yeah, we don't. I'm usually busy, or you're busy. I'd rather busy. hang out with you than Amber. Like, yeah, why don't we hang? Like, why am I always with other people and not just us two? Because <laughs> you're an influencer, and like, I don't know, you do sh like, and I do. Sh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Like, if you and I wanted to, like... Bro, what? Uh, are you high or something? Are you drunk? Are I'm you not, like... like, I'm a little bit tipsy. Tipsy and Bro. loose. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're in crack or some shit. Because, like, you're tripping. Like, actually. Do you, do you not feel the same like, way? Or... Dude, what? Like, so you <laughs> you don't want to hang, though? Oh, uh, hang with you. Like, we can, like, like eat food or something. We shit. could, like, hold hands. We could, like, Netflix and chill. I don't watch Netflix, first of all. I watch Disney Plus. And, like, I don't, like, why are you making shit sound like we watch Netflix with you and we can chill, but we can chill separately while watching Netflix together, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, I see. So you don't feel the same way. Like, so you, you don't... can sit on the left. I can sit on the right. Yeah, hundred. So you, oh, I get it. Like, I get it. Like, I'm just not your type or something. Okay. Bro, what did you? Okay, you actually. I don't even know what type of like bet you have on or some shit. But like, <laughs> the fuck is this, Jamie? Nah, it's okay. I'll just call you later. Um, sorry, I'm just a <laughs> you're, bit. You're tripping. I'm a bit know. embarrassed. I think I put myself out there and now I'm shy. Okay, bye. <laughs> what a legend. He really hit her with the I don't watch Netflix. I watch Disney Plus. I don't date. And here's the thing about it. Say what you want. I mean, I understand I'm an asshole for this, but I never really had money and no one wanted to date me then. Now that I'm making some, I kind of want to save it. So I understand if you don't like me, I get it. Bro, you're not an asshole for doing that. I mean, you got a point. If they don't want you when you're still broke, then now you're making money, then suddenly they want you? Yep, this is a tough world we're living as a guy. I hate when men want you to pay 50-50 on the first date. Ma'am, what's wrong with that? Huh? What's wrong with that? It's 2022. Then they're clearly not that interested. I'm mean, just trying to save money. You want me? I mean, if you're just trying to save money, I get it. Look, I got I'm an and look, I can pay for myself. But the thing is, if he pays for the whole day, y'all can just maybe y'all may leave him, and he's be like, "Man, what the heck? I paid." It's facts. It's facts. It's in our facts. It's in our facts. It's in our facts. It's facts. It's facts. It's facts. It's facts. I hate women that don't like men. I hate that. Like when you become so ultra feminist that you minimize men and their role in society, their role in the family dynamic. That's when you start, you start losing me. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> I actually take my shirts home to smell them when he sleeps. Why don't you do that with me? I live with you. So? 
you sleep next to me in a shirt, therefore I've got a shirt in my bed that smells like you, but you next don't, to me at all times. You don't like the smell, though. Well, if you so want. So why can't you be like that? If you want, I can become your ex and we can test it. Did you just break up with me? No, I said if you want, I'll become your ex. So you're saying that we've broken up? No, I'm saying that if you want to break up with me and me become your ex. But so what I'm hearing is that you want to break up with me. Well, like this sounds like a really like cool thing we could test the theory of. All you need to do. is... So now it's cool that we're breaking up. So we're breaking up. Give me that ring back. We're breaking up and it's cool. Well, that's yet to be discovered. Wow, this guy just handled that situation like a champ. Comparing your man to another man is never a good idea. What do I always say? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Oh hell no! 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 Why is it in 2023 women can openly say they don't want to date a man that's not over six foot? Don't want to date a man if his quarry is not 10 inches. Don't want to date a man unless he's loaded. Don't want to date a man unless he's got gym bud and tattoos. But if a man turns around and dares say that he, he don't want to date a woman with a high body cam, he's a scumbag. He's a f***ing immature, pathetic. Literally took the words out of my mouth, my dude. I really want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you have to say in the comments below. Right, I literally got all ready for a date and then they cancelled. So, um, I guess I'm gonna go on a date by myself. It's probably gonna be really bad, but let's just take myself on a date. I'm walking to the mini golf place. I found double vodka Cokes and some passion fruit martini things at Tesco's. They were literally like, I don't know, six for a tenner. So I've drunk five of them. I've got one left. Let's go play mini golf. Jaeger bombs and a cocktail just for me. Um, I have two tickets because obviously it was for two people, so I get to do two courses, which isn't that bad. Also, I just realised that I win no matter what, so fuck it. Right, hole number, no, well, course number two uh, is this one. We'll see how it goes. I'm by myself still, obviously, but made a few friends who have all left me. Great. I wish I was joking. A worker just came up to me and went, Are you the guy that's on his own? Great. Everyone's taking the piss. But it's fine because we're winning. Um, not funny. So the workers felt bad, so they've joined in. We're now playing golf together against each other. Uh, big up, what's this, what's this place called again? Junkyard Golf. Big, big up Junkyard Golf. And uh, I am winning. I'll update you who wins at the end. In a little bit, just a little bit. Go on, hole in one, go on. Oh, great! I finished golf, got another cocktail. I am still by myself, everyone is on a date still, and we're lonely, but I've had a great night, the workers were lovely, they played golf with me, they invited me back for another time for free, so if anyone else wants to come with me for the second date, then I've got a free ticket. Okay, so I just left the uh, place, the golf place, I made some friends, I guess, um, and I got free golf, it was kind of fun. Uh, I'm gonna go to a random club. I don't know where, but f it. we're by ourselves still, obviously. Um, <laughs> save me. But f it. we'll go to a club, we'll see what's going on. This man's a legend for taking himself out on a date. Alone. This just proves you don't need anyone to have fun. Also, props to the staff for that golf place. I think it's interesting to comment on other people's looks when you're ugly. Drew, hate to burst your bubble, but you should probably practice what you preach, take your own advice. You say that it's interesting to go after people's looks when you're ugly, but yet you're doing the exact same thing. Like, you need makeup to even look attractive, and that doesn't even work for you. You still look like a gender bent EDP 445 and a 6 at best, even with all that makeup on. Yo. That one there was a violation, personally I wouldn't have it.
literally asked him to bring us mm -hmm. two separate checks. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, boss, did you uh, make sure you added the double shot that she ordered? You made sure to put are that you... on hers, right? I did. No, I like, appreciate it, boss. why are you so yeah. cheap? Yeah. What do you mean, why am I so cheap? In the cheap? first place, appreciate you were... I'll, I'll, you take, were... I'll, I'll take care of mine right now. Here, here, now. Did you... No, no, that's all good. I'll take care of mine Have right you ever now. seen this, though? Like, he's the one that asked yeah, she, me to She'll come. take her. He's the one that's been begging me to come okay, out and okay. even. What do you mean I've been begging you to come out? I asked you if you wanted to go on a date. Yeah, so what does that mean? If you take me on a date, you're supposed to take care of my stuff. How am I supposed to take care of your stuff? So you ask him to like give us separate bills? Like, so can you pay for my stuff? Like, like I. I mean, I, I, I just. You got to pay for your bill. I did what I was supposed to do. I didn't tell you to order all them double shots. I was going to take you on a friendly date. I had the coupon for 50% off. A coupon? Uh, yes. You brought a coupon to this restaurant? You're yeah. so cheap, literally. I'm so cheap, but you No wonder order. why I never even like, Well, if I'm so know? cheap, why would you? When did it ever became a rule that men should always pay for a date? So Gurley really did order a lot because she thought she isn't going to pay. She kept calling him cheap, but she can't even pay for her own meal. Also, she's shaming him for bringing a coupon. Honey, that's not being clever. All I'm trying to do is go out the door. Y'all see this on camera. I'm trying to leave out the door, get away from the situation, and make things better for me. But um, I can't seem to uh, go. Can you please get off me? I'm asking her twice. I'm asking you to Can sit down. Can you please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please bro. get off of Gary, me? Gary, please don't put your hands. I'm, I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please, please. You see this, right? Gary, Gary, you see please, this? Please, I'm, trying please. I'm trying to go. Please, I'm trying to go. Look at me. Look at me. Look I don't want to be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't stop, want nothing stop, from you. I want Gary, to get away from you. Gary. Well, if it isn't the consequences of my actions. Big respect to this guy for staying calm and handling that situation perfectly. If she cheats, she doesn't deserve a second chance. My guys my age are into hookup culture, and I never really understood why I wasn't into it. Um, it's not a bad thing that I'm not into it, but I never really understood why, and everything clicked for me tonight after I went out with my boys. I noticed their main mission was getting girls, bringing a girl home tonight. And it was taking over their minds so much that they forgot to live in the moment, to enjoy the moment, to enjoy each other's presence. If we were just talking or whatever, we were dicking around. We weren't getting to, you know, the mission. But shouldn't the mission be experiencing something, you know, nice, experiencing something new, enjoying each other, not chasing something that you... What, what's the f the point of chasing it? It's an experience you've already experienced before, okay? We all, all of us, and probably you f had a one night stand, bro, before you know exactly how it goes, you know exactly how it f ends, so why are you trying to do it again? Yeah, I might think it's a f new person, but it's the same f over and over again. You didn't learn anything new, you didn't experience anything f new. So, that all clicked for me. Is I don't this guy gets it. Going out is all about having fun, it's not about looking for someone to get dirty with. So boys, just enjoy the moment with your bros and erase that mindset that it's your mission to find a girl in the club to take home. Remember, bros before hoes. Change to the opposite sex for the day. Man was like, no, 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 absolutely not. Impossible. Impossible. Nope. Impossible. Feminist? Do you really? A feminist is somebody who thinks women are equal to men. Mm -hmm. I'm probably this, I think women are better than men. <laughs> Somebody told me before women shouldn't be firefighters. <laughs> yeah. Because a woman cannot a woman cannot save you from a burning. If I'm in a burning building, are you gonna go in there and carry me out? I mm, think women would maybe not like... fail as a society. I think we'd get it done. He really shut her up with one question. I mean no offense to the girls out there, but there's a reason why firefighters are generally men. It's just genes. Men are naturally stronger than women. No question about that. When you want attention, but, I didn't think but you he's playing the game. Ever. <laughs> exactly, you wouldn't beat me. Ever. Look at that. Oh. Bro, just let him play. You're being annoying and being disrespectful as hell. Just let him enjoy the game and have time with his bros. Ever heard of boundaries? The ideal age. So I'm 27, and I would say I would want them to be older. So like my like range that I look for is 28 to 35. What would you want his income to be? Mm, I feel like that's gonna sound bad. I feel like like 300,000. Let's see the percentage of men that meets all of those and how delusional she is. All right, let's get to it, Maria, baby. 28 to 35. I don't know if it's looking too good. Works good, married men. 
any race. We'll do average height of a dude, 5'8", exclude obesity. And she wants a whopping 300k. Let's see how many cat bags she gets. Let's go. 0.098% with a 5 out of 5 cat bags. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Counts if you think yeah, she's a catfish. Yeah, alright, alright. So how many guys do you think is going to walk out today? <laughs> Quite loud. Mm, couple? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I'm guessing couple. Couple? Mm. So what would you rate yourself out of 10? Personality, a bag No, no, just your looks. Just your looks. <laughs> Eight and a half. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Say this. Okay. Right, say if you don't think she's a fat fish, go if you think she's a fat fish. Crazy still. Yeah, you're all laughing, but if that would have been a female and a bunch of men doing that to her, that would be sexual assault. That's f***ed up. This is the perfect example of double standards. He is clearly uncomfortable. Just leave him the frick alone. Do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you. Gentlemen, be very wary of these women who are very high maintenance. This woman or any other woman who thinks that they are entitled to something just because of their looks or even something else is just ridiculous. So yes, I do agree that a walk date is pretty lame, but coffee date, nothing wrong with that, especially for the first date. If you don't drink alcohol and you don't want to sit down across from someone and get dinner or spend a lot of money on dinner, and I bet you this woman probably wants a very fancy restaurant, it is completely acceptable to go on a coffee date for your very first date and save dinner down the line. Isn't the main purpose of a date is to get to know each other? If what you two do on a date does that, and it's fine. A nice date doesn't depend on how much you spend that night. It depends on how much fun you guys have. I mean, that's if she's really interested in you too. So boys, don't let women like her tell you what to do and not what to do on a date. That's all for today, boys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.